Hi, I'm Mark Frazier. Exploring wildlife right in our own backyard is the best way to learn to appreciate them and therefore protect them. You're invited to join me on the exciting wildlife adventures. Welcome to Nature Walks. Exploring the forest, you can quickly find many different amazing species of birds. Today I'm really interested in the nesting habits of some of the different species that we can find. When you're about to raise chicks, camouflage really matters. Look at these incredible speckled brown eggs. These are actually cardinal eggs. You can tell that by the coloration pattern on them, and a lot of times you can tell the different species. There's the male nearby. Now here comes the mom. She's going to sit on the eggs and try to regulate the temperature. It's been found that many different perching bird species work together in a community to look out for birds of prey. When a hawk is nearby, all the birds can get involved and try to chase that hawk away. So this mama cardinal is going to get up there and try to make a lot of noise along with the male, and even some red-winged blackbirds get involved. It's imperative that they get this hawk out of their territory to protect their young. Now this hawk is a lot larger, but remember, those small birds can fly real fast. The hawk makes a very smart retreat. Now that the danger is past, Mother Cardinal can return to her eggs. With Cardinals, it's actually only the females that incubate the eggs, so the male will bring food. It could take up to two weeks for those eggs to hatch, so she'll need the assistance by the male who's nearby. Not every bird species is insectivorous like the Cardinals. In fact, finding this pellet tells me that there's owls nearby. The owls cough these up to get rid of hair and bones. I'm seeing plenty of sign that there is definitely owls on this tree. And taking advantage of the far zoom of my camera, I'm able to see to the very top of the tree, hidden in the branches, are these amazing great horned owls. The mom is looking right back at me with piercing yellow eyes. Eventually, she starts to waddle up a branch and I get a better look at her. This is just stunning to see these incredible species. Large birds like owls need large prey items. They'll take rabbits and squirrels, muskrat, anything that they can find that they can peel off pieces for their children. This way, this true predator is able to supply the amount of protein that those babies need to grow very fast. I've received countless emails on the NatureWalks website from people who find baby birds and want to know what to do with them. The truth is, the best thing you can do is get those young chicks back to their parents where they belong. Even if it's only near the nest, the parent will still feed the juvenile, and that's the most important thing you can do. If you're unable to locate the nest, then the best next step that you can do is go online and find the nearest wildlife rehabilitator in your area. Contact them, let the rehabber know that you have a baby bird, and they'll take it for you and give it exactly what it needs. Some birds are extremely sensitive, and you might find raising them a little too difficult to handle. Owls can live incredibly long lives, some as many as 30 years. Here, this juvenile owl needs to take a scratch. It's amazing how they can balance on one foot like this with no problem at all. Remember, they don't even have enough wings yet to make it to the bottom, so they need to be really, really careful. These owls have piercing eyes. Even this juvenile seems to look right through you, and especially the parents. Both the hearing and the eyesight of owls are incredible. They have built-in binoculars to find their prey and the ears to trace down even the smallest mouse. You don't always have to be in the forest to find wildlife. Plenty of birds have learned to adapt to live right on our own houses. In fact, these adorable little eastern Phoebes have a nest of five little ones sitting right above this window, and there's Mama feeding them the insects. 
Imagine how many times the parents have to come back and forth to feed all five of these babies. Eastern Phoebe are amazing flyers. They're even able to hover in flight, and this gives them a great advantage when they're looking for insects in the forest. Once they catch their prey, they're right back to the nest to feed one of their five hungry mouths. And there's mom once again. That is fantastic. Judging by the feathers that I'm seeing on these little ones, they're ready for the fledge. They'll probably leave the nest this very day. The fledge stage is when the baby birds go out and the parents start weaning them off of feeding them. So they'll be on branches or on the ground and for the next few days trying to dodge predators until they can start a life of their own. Spending quality time with our family, exploring the incredible wildlife in the forest right in our local community helps us all be better stewards of the earth. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more you find. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you again very soon.